Okay, so I'm not too happy right now. I've been sitting at my computer desk waiting for new trailers to drop on YouTube so I can react to them. But not a single trailer for any one of these 2021 movies have been released just yet. So what should I do whilst waiting impatiently for a trailer to drop? Well, after this following intro, you'll soon find out. Okay guys, for this video today, as I'm trying to focus on staying healthy on my diet and trying not to eat everything at once, I'm going to focus on making a special healthy recipe that I've done of probably a couple of years back, like before the pandemic even started. It's a simple um, healthy chocolate pudding recipe that I got from Whole Foods on the, on the website. Um, if you want to have a go at this recipe, the link is in the description below. Um, and yeah, this recipe has five ingredients. My hand, not yours. But I'm going to show you um, a quick video on how to make this recipe. And you basically need to make sure that you're sticking to your diet and making sure you're going to have a, an amazing job in making this recipe. And I think feel like this is something you should have at dessert or probably like around breakfast time. Um, um, but anyways, uh, it's part of the diet. Let me just show you the five ingredients that I have for this recipe that I got from the, yeah, from the recipe on wholefoods.com. Okay, let's hit the flip button. Okay, so here are the five ingredients that you should use in this recipe. We got two avocados here, and we got some vanilla extract. We got some dates. I'll explain these a little later on. Uh, we have one banana, and we have some cocoa powder. So these are the five ingredients that you should use in this recipe. So let's get started. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the pitted dates. Um, they need to be pitted because these these dates, they have seeds in them, so you're gonna have to take the seeds out. And I've already boiled a kettle with some boiling water. Um, this is part of the recipe. Um, and I have a little glass here to put the dates in. Basically, you need uh, about a half a cup of pitted dates, and then soak them into hot water for about 10 minutes. So let's get these dates out, and let's take the seeds out. Make sure the last of the dates is all the way up to the top of this half cup. Dates. Oh, you did. I just took the seeds out. Okay, so okay, dates, and you go with into the glass. And I'm about to put in the hot water. It'll be screaming hot if you put your finger in. Yeah, it's a little screaming hot, but I didn't scream. So leave them to leave them to soak in the hot water for about ten minutes. So what should I do now? Nothing for 10 minutes. Um, give me a title card, please. Okay, so the dates have had 10 minutes in the boiling water, so it's time to sieve all of the bits out, especially the hot water. Make sure there is no water stuck in between the areas of these pitted dates. It'll be good. Let's put them back in the cup for later on. Let's focus on the other ingredients. Okay, to blend all these ingredients uh, in this recipe, you're going to need to get a food processor and you're going to have to use this blade uh, to, to mesh up all the ingredients in the food processor. Make sure this pro processor is plugged in into the wall. Anyways, let's get right into the recipe. Okay, first, let's focus on the avocados. Um, be sure to cut each of these hot avocados in half, um, two of them. Uh, you have two avocados in the recipe. And be sure to take the core out of each avocado like this with a knife, twist and torn. And be sure to put this in the compost. I'll do that later on once I've already peeled and pitted out all of these avocados. As 
you can see, I swapped bananas. I don't know why. Um, I thought I might want to go for a clean skin banana today. So let's peel this banana. Let's take it out. In with the avocado. And be sure to put that in the compost afterwards. And now you're gonna need about half a cup of cocoa powder. And be careful not to spill any, which I just did. In you go. And then there's the vanilla extract. Um, you're gonna need a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I just spilled some again. Into the food processor. And remember what I did with the pitted dates, I soaked them in hot water for 10 minutes, and now it's going in with the rest of the ingredients. <laughs> yep, the cup's empty. Okay, now it's time to put the lid on the food processor. And all we gotta do is, is, is whiz up these ingredients here. Let me swap the camera angles. Here goes nothing. Let me just check on it with a spatula. If it needs a little bit more whisking, which it just about does, be sure to clear up all the edges with the spatula. Probably cut off the banana in a, a few little pieces if it's not washed up properly. Okay, let's whisk it up again. Let's go up the edges again to see how it looks. It looks good. I think all the edges and bits and pieces inside the mixture have cleared up and most up into tiny little pieces. Um, I'm gonna have a go at tasting it, but I'm gonna have to swap camera angles. I'll, I'll go to the, the selfie lens. Let's have a little taste. Is it worth cooking? Was it worth it? Yes. Yes, it was. I can barely remember the last time I made one of these. Now, what to do with the mixture? Well, that's where the glass container comes in. Now, here's the glass container to put the chocolate pudding in. Okay, let's scrape off the bits of this here tool from the food processor. <laughs> into the glass container. Be sure to clear out all the edges on the food processor. If it's still stuck on the spatula, feel free to scrape it off at the edges of the glass container. So I'm stuck on my finger here now. I'll wash my hand afterwards. There you go. Let's put the lid on. Okay, now that we got my healthy chocolate pudding recipe from Whole Foods in the safe glass container, all the stuff to do is put it into the refrigerator where you can keep it cool and cold for about three days. It says on the recipe. Well, I'm too hungry to wait, so I'll wait until after dinner, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Um, anyways, um, here's what's next on this pure video. Okay, now we're in title card in audio form. So, the bits and bobs on this recipe are as follows. Avocado is a protein, banana is a sweet food, with cocoa powder... I'm not so sure about what it is. Anyways, this recipe has no refined sugar at all or added oil. It's gluten, dairy, and wheat-free with high fiber and low sodium, and it's also vegan. You can pack it up in some lunch boxes or serve it with berries for the perfect treat after dinner in some serving bowls. And now for the best part, that is, you get to eat it. So I decided to add some Easy Peel oranges and a little banana to go with my chocolate pudding. Uh, it's healthy, just to let you know, again, if you missed out on any of it. Feel free to rewind and go back to the beginning. But anyways, let's try this pudding out with the food that I just chosen. <sighs> Fantastic.
fantastic. Definitely something to cook up for your family and your friends, even during the pandemic. So yeah, I would definitely give this recipe a go. And I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like what you just seen, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe today for new videos and turn on those notifications. And you can follow me on my socials. The links are in the description. And if you want to try any new recipes from Whole Foods, including this one that I've just shown to you, go on over to wholefoods.com or link in the description. Thanks for watching and stay safe, stay healthy. And as a good man named Jamie Oliver once said, keep cooking and carry on. Yeah. Anyways, I'll see you soon. Bye. Bon appétit.